Have you ever wondered about the history and uses of ketamine, a powerful drug with a complex past and present? Welcome to a journey through time, exploring the intriguing story of this extraordinary substance. Discovered in the early 60s, ketamine quickly gained recognition as an anesthetic, transforming surgical processes worldwide. Over the years, however, its uses have expanded and evolved significantly. Today, ketamine is not just an anesthetic, it's also used recreationally and more recently as a breakthrough treatment for depression. It's a drug that has been both revered and reviled, a substance that has saved lives and in some instances, taken them. It's a tale of extremes, of light and dark, of hope and despair. We're about to embark on a deep dive exploration into this fascinating world, uncovering the truth about ketamine, its history, its uses, and its impact. So, ready your curiosity and open your mind. Join us as we delve into the fascinating journey of ketamine from its discovery to its present day uses. Our journey begins in the mid 20th century with the discovery of ketamine. In the early 1960s, an American chemist named Calvin Stevens was working for Park Davis, a pharmaceutical company in Detroit, Michigan. Stevens, who was searching for a new anesthetic, stumbled upon a substance that, when tested, demonstrated remarkable properties. The substance was ketamine, and it was patented in 1962. This discovery couldn't have come at a better time. The world was in the throes of the Vietnam War, and medics were in desperate need of an anesthetic that was safe, effective, and could be easily administered on the battlefield. The most commonly used anesthetic at the time, phencyclidine, also known as PCP, had many side effects that made it less than ideal for use in high-stress situations. Enter ketamine. Unlike PCP, ketamine had fewer side effects and was easier to control. It produced an anesthetic state known as dissociative anesthesia, which is a trance-like state providing pain relief, sedation, and amnesia. The unique properties of ketamine made it an ideal choice for battlefield situations. It was fast-acting, it could be administered intramuscularly instead of intravenously, and it didn't depress the circulatory system, making it safer for injured soldiers. By the late 60s, ketamine was being widely used in the Vietnam War. It was dubbed the buddy drug, because it was so easy to administer that a soldier's buddy could inject it. Its use saved countless lives and revolutionized the way battlefield injuries were treated. But the story of ketamine doesn't stop there. After the war, it made its way into civilian hospitals and veterinary clinics. It became a popular anesthetic for children and animals due to its safety profile and the hallucinogenic side effects, which were less frightening to children and non-existent in animals. So, ketamine's history began as a lifesaver on the battlefield, but its journey was far from over. As we move forward, ketamine found its way from the battlefield to the operating room. Initially, it was lauded as a revolutionary anesthetic due to its unique properties. Unlike other anesthetics, ketamine does not depress the respiratory system. This means that while under its influence, patients continue to breathe normally, a significant advantage in surgical settings where maintaining a patient's airway can often pose a challenge. In addition to preserving breathing reflexes, ketamine also has a strong safety profile. It maintains blood pressure and heart rate, making it particularly useful in situations where these parameters may be unstable. This is a stark contrast to other anesthetics, which can cause a drop in blood pressure and a decrease in heart rate. But it wasn't all smooth sailing for ketamine in the medical field. Despite its promising attributes, it also came with a set of drawbacks that couldn't be overlooked. One of its most notorious side effects is hallucinations, often referred to as emergence phenomena. These can range from pleasant dreamlike states to terrifying nightmares, which can be quite distressing for patients. Additionally, it can cause nausea, vomiting, and an increase in salivation, all of which can be uncomfortable postoperatively. Moreover, Ketamine's tendency to increase intracranial pressure made it less than ideal for neurosurgical procedures or patients with head injuries. And in high doses, it can cause severe cardiovascular complications, making it a less favorable option for patients with heart conditions. Due to these side effects, the use of ketamine as a primary anesthetic began to decrease. Many medical professionals started to view it as a last resort drug to be used only when other options were either unsuitable or unavailable. This was a dramatic shift from its initial status as a wonder drug in the world of anesthesia. However, the story of ketamine doesn't end there. Despite its drawbacks, the potential of this unique drug was recognized. The same properties that made it a useful anesthetic also made it a candidate for other applications. 
its ability to disconnect the brain from the body, creating a state of dissociation, sparked interest in its use for conditions such as chronic pain and complex regional pain syndrome. And so the exploration of ketamine continued, with researchers delving into its potential beyond the operating room. This led to exciting new discoveries and uses, some of which we will discuss in the following scenes. Despite its drawbacks, ketamine's potential was recognized, leading to further exploration and new uses. With the 70s came a new chapter in ketamine's story, its emergence as a recreational drug. It started to gain popularity in the party scene because of its hallucinogenic effects. Ketamine can induce a state of disconnection from reality, often described as a K-hole, where users report experiences of intense visuals and a distorted perception of time and space. However, it's crucial to remember that these effects are a double-edged sword. While some seek the K-hole for a sense of euphoria, the experience can be overwhelming and terrifying for others. This can lead to panic and anxiety, and in some cases, even cause physical harm, as users may not be fully aware of their surroundings. In addition to the immediate risks, the long-term misuse of ketamine can lead to serious health issues. These range from urinary tract problems, including painful urination and blood in the urine, to cognitive difficulties such as memory loss and attention deficits. There's also the potential for psychological dependency, with users feeling a need to take the drug to feel normal or to avoid withdrawal symptoms. Moreover, there's a significant legal aspect to consider. In many jurisdictions, unauthorized possession, sale, or use of ketamine is illegal. Penalties can be severe, ranging from hefty fines to imprisonment. Not to mention, having a criminal record can have serious implications on one's future, affecting everything from job prospects to travel opportunities. It's also worth noting that the recreational use of ketamine often involves higher doses than what is used medically. This increases the risk of overdose, which can lead to unconsciousness, respiratory problems, and in severe cases, death. This darker side of ketamine's history underscores the importance of careful regulation and responsible use. While it's clear that ketamine has potential in the medical field, its recreational misuse can lead to serious consequences. As with any substance, understanding and respecting its potency is vital. Yet, amidst controversy, the 21st century brought a surprising twist ketamine as a breakthrough treatment for depression. In recent years, the medical field has been abuzz with a new discovery. Ketamine, a drug once primarily known for its anesthetic properties and recreational abuse, has shown remarkable potential in treating severe depression. This discovery has been nothing short of revolutionary, offering hope to those who have found little relief in traditional antidepressants. So how does ketamine work differently? Traditional antidepressants like selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors or SSRIs work by increasing the levels of certain chemicals in our brains like serotonin that are linked to mood. They're often effective, but they also have their limitations. They can take weeks, if not months, to kick in, and they don't work for everyone. Ketamine, on the other hand, works on a completely different part of the brain and its effects can be felt within hours, not weeks. It targets a neurotransmitter called glutamate, which is involved in a range of brain functions, including cognition, learning, and memory. By blocking certain glutamate receptors, ketamine helps to restore synaptic connections in the brain that may be impaired in people with depression. The most compelling evidence of ketamine's effectiveness comes from numerous clinical trials. One such study, published in the American Journal of Psychiatry, involved nearly 200 participants with severe depression. They found that those treated with ketamine showed a significantly greater reduction in depressive symptoms than those treated with a placebo. But it's not just about the numbers. It's about the real, tangible impact this has on people's lives. Consider the testimonials of those who have been treated with ketamine. Many describe a lifting of their depression, a return of feelings of hope and joy, and a newfound ability to engage with the world around them. Such profound transformations are rare in the field of mental health treatment, making ketamine's potential all the more exciting. Of course, it's important to note that ketamine isn't a miracle cure. It's a powerful drug with potential side effects, and its long-term effects are still not fully understood. But for those who have struggled with severe depression and found little relief in other treatments, it offers a ray of hope. This new application of ketamine has sparked a wave of renewed interest in the drug. Scientists are now delving deeper into understanding exactly how ketamine works and how it can be best used to treat depression. Researchers are also exploring its potential in treating other mental health conditions, such as post-traumatic stress disorder and obsessive-compulsive disorder, 
This promising new use of ketamine illustrates its potential, sparking renewed interest and research. The journey of ketamine from anesthetic to party drug to potential lifesaver is a testament to the ever-evolving field of medicine. It reminds us that sometimes the most promising breakthroughs can come from the most unexpected places. Today, ketamine stands at a crossroads, balancing its checkered past with its promising future. This once obscure anesthetic has found a new lease of life in the world of medicine, particularly as a potential game-changer in the treatment of depression. However, it's not all smooth sailing. Right now, ketamine is under regulated medical use in many parts of the world. It's administered in controlled doses, under the watchful eye of healthcare professionals. This is a far cry from its early days as a party drug, where misuse was rampant. However, despite the strict regulations, it's still being misused in some corners, underscoring the need for continued vigilance. Research on ketamine is ongoing, with scientists seeking to unlock its full potential. Preliminary studies have shown promising results, particularly in the area of mental health. It's been hailed a breakthrough in treating depression, a condition that affects millions worldwide. The hope is that with further research, we might discover more therapeutic uses for this versatile drug. Yet with this potential comes challenges. The misuse of ketamine remains a concern. While its medical benefits are being explored, we must also tackle the issue of addiction and recreational abuse. Striking the right balance between beneficial use and potential harm is a delicate task. Looking ahead, the future of ketamine is both exciting and uncertain. There's a lot of anticipation about what this drug could achieve in the medical field. But at the same time, there's a sense of caution, a reminder of its past misuse. We're likely to see more research, more discoveries, and hopefully, more lives changed for the better. But with it, we'll also see debates about regulation, ethics, and the best way to navigate its dual nature. Ketamine's journey is far from over. It's a journey that will continue to fascinate, challenge, and hopefully enlighten us. It's a journey that encapsulates the complexity of drug use and abuse and the constant quest for better treatments in medicine. As we continue to explore ketamine's potential, we must remember its complex history and strive for responsible and beneficial use. So, what have we learned about ketamine's journey? Let's take a moment to revisit the key points we've covered in this insightful dive into the world of ketamine. We started from the very beginning with the discovery of ketamine in the early 1960s, a time when scientists were seeking a safer alternative to existing anesthetics, leading to the creation of this versatile drug. We then delved into the role of ketamine in the medical field. From its initial use as an anesthetic during the Vietnam War, saving countless lives on the battlefield, to its more recent applications in treating chronic pain and other serious conditions. We've seen how this drug has proven its worth time and again, demonstrating its adaptability and effectiveness. However, every coin has two sides, and so we explored ketamine's darker side as a recreational drug. We discussed the risks and dangers associated with its misuse, reminding us that while it holds great potential, it also has the power to cause significant harm when used irresponsibly. But it's not all doom and gloom. We also spoke about the exciting potential of ketamine as a breakthrough treatment for depression, a glimmer of hope for those who've not found relief through traditional therapies. This promising development underscores the importance of ongoing research into the potential benefits of this complex drug. Finally, we looked at the current state and future of ketamine. We've seen how attitudes and perceptions towards this drug are evolving as we continue to learn more about its potential uses and benefits. In summary, Ketamine's journey has been a winding road marked by both triumph and controversy. It's a testament to the complexities of scientific discovery and the ongoing quest for medical advancements. Ketamine's story is a reminder that the path of discovery and use is often complex and surprising, filled with challenges and opportunities. As we move forward, let's hope for a future where its potential is fully realized for the benefit of mankind.